Welcome to a brand new day. This is the Daily Genius and I am Dr. Will. As always, super excited that you are here with us, whether you are here live with us this morning or you're watching this on the replay. Always super excited that you are connected with us. This is episode number 125 of 165 videos that we're dropping live inside this group to uh, assist you in becoming a better version of yourself and creating a life that you love. If you are watching this outside of our private Facebook group, Genius Nation, that's what I'm referring to, over 1,000 individuals that are committed to becoming a better version of themselves and creating a better life. If that sounds like you, there is a link in the description for you to join our free private Facebook group where I provide tips, tools, strategies to assist you in navigating, becoming a better version of yourself and creating a life that you love. So if that sounds like you, right after this video, click on the link, join our growing community. We would love to have you. So this is Wednesday. And on Wednesday, what I like to do is a segment that I call moving the needle and sharing a tool with you that will help you uh, become better or more efficient in business or in your personal life. And so today for move the needle, I want to talk about a general topic. And that topic is technology, technology. How are you using technology to be more efficient and more effective? We are in literally the absolute best time ever to be living. And when I say that, I want you to understand five years from now, we will be living in the best time ever. Ten years from now, we will be living in the best time ever. Why? Because of evolution and because of technology. And so I always tell people, it's okay to get older. It's not okay to get old. Does that make sense? Like we're going to get older, but you don't want to become that old person that doesn't stay in uh, in line or connected to what's going on around you. We now know, right? We, we're old enough, for those of you who are watching me, we, we've seen this now. We've seen this this uh, evolution over the last 20 years. I was having a conversation the other day uh, with someone and we were talking about the speed at which things are happening. See, there was a time where if you just think about the telephone and there's this concept of we call critical mass, the time it takes for something to be invented and the time it takes for it to be introduced to the public for it to reach critical mass, meaning everybody's using it now. Everybody's familiar. That time used to take something like, you know, 75 to 100 years. Now it's happening in a matter of months. It's happening in a matter of weeks. So when the phone came out, it took a little time for everyone across the nation, everyone across the world to have a phone, right? How many more recently, how many of you remember when the VCR came out? Everybody didn't have a VCR. It then took, you know, by time everybody got a VCR, now we were on to DVD players, right? Um, how many of you remember, um, and it just lasted a minute, um, what was it called? After the DVD player, it was uh, blue streaming or blue. I can't remember what it was, but it only lasted. It only lasted a second because innovation and te technology was moving so fast. Blu-ray. How many of you remember Blu-ray? That's what it was. Blu-ray. Blu-ray was coming out and Blu-ray was supposed to be the next great thing. But then technology came, some newer technology came and boom push that to the side. Now we're now streaming, right? Very few people have a VCR. Very few people have a DVD player. Why? Because we're streaming everything. We have Hulu, we have Netflix, we have, and, and you begin to see um, how the different companies are innovating, right? Um, how many of you remember when cable was the big thing? 
everybody had cable. And so all of those companies, if they're not willing to transition, you see them going to streaming services, right? That's how you want to be in your business. And that's how you want to be in life. You want to be moving with the move. You want to be moving with the change, right? You want to be changing when it's changing. You don't want to be in a position where you're now forced to forced to change, you know? Um, and I just love it because it, it, it makes you continuously grow. Um, right now, like uh, I use this service that I'm on right now. It's called StreamYard. And um, StreamYard allows me to simultaneously send this to our private Facebook page, but it also allows me to send it to YouTube. It allows me to send it to other places as well. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. Um, Facebook just came out with they're not going to allow third parties like StreamYard to stream into um, into Facebook. So one or two things happens. You get frustrated. You get upset with Facebook. and You say, well, why would you do that? Why would you complicate my life? Well, remembering that Facebook is a business and Facebook's going to do what's right for their business. That's business. And so for me, I have to now and, you know, I'm in certain chats and we're figuring out, OK, what are we going to do for those of us who use StreamYard? There there has to be something created. There has to be a go go between a go by and something's going to be created. That's going to allow us to continuously do this. Right. And that's the thing. When change is changing, the faster that you can embrace change, the better you're going to be positioned, the faster you can embrace it the faster you can embrace change, not to get upset with it, but the faster you are able to embrace it. You know, I remember, um, you remember when Facebook, um, they said, we're going to change our layout and people were just, oh my God, why are you changing? Because it's their business. They get to do that, right? They get to do that. If that's what they want to do, they get to do that. The faster you can embrace that, okay, man, what's the new change? Okay, let me get in here and mess around, play around with it. That's the type of mindset you want to adapt as you're, as you're uh, uh, as as you're uh, um, messing around with um, engaging with technology, like you just want to get in there and, and mess around with it, so you will be on the front end of all these changes. And so, as we think about technology, technology is going to be something; it's not going away. It's not going away. When you think about, you know, our our cell phones. What were we able to do 10 years ago, right? We can do much more today with our cell phones. And so I want you to start getting in the mind, just thinking two years from now, what will you be able to do with your phone? Two years from now, what will you be able to do with your phone? And being aware that this instrument is not going to be the same in two years. So just get that in your mind right now. This is not going to be the same in two years. The capabilities that we have with this thing is going to expand. And so if you get your mind ready for that, like use it, but don't get so comfortable to think that, hey, it's not going to change. History has already let us know what are they on right now? We're on, you know, if iPhone is on iPhone 17 or whatever, then we're on smartphone, you know, 18 to 20. What does that let you know? That is constantly evolving, constantly evolving, right? Apps are coming. Apps allow us to, once again, technology allows us, I can check my bank, right? I can check my bank account. I can check so many things. I can check emails. I can check so many things. I was watching this video the other day. Um, I was watching this video the other day, and this was back in like 1980, I believe. There was a gentleman who was talking about it. He's like, he was talking about the computer and he was saying there's going to be a desktop computer on everybody's desk and you're going to be able to do all these amazing things. And people were looking at him like he was crazy. Like, what are you talking about? Because back then, you know, they had the big IBM, big IBM computer that took up a whole room. Like computers used to be as big as this space. Right. It used to be as big as this space. That's what it used to take right, to run a computer. And now computers are palm size and all this type of stuff. And so two to three years from now, it's going to look different, right? Right, right. Clubhouse, club, you know, all these things like 
you know, use them while they're here, understanding that big companies, either they're flexible and willing to change or, man, you're going to become a dinosaur. You're going to become a dinosaur. And this is so fascinating because we get to see it. We get to see it in our lifetime. We get to see it in our lifetime. You know, if you look at something like um, the S&P 500, if you look at the companies that are on the S&P 500, they're changing. For years, it was a stable of GE, you know, um, Procter and Gamble, just like these stable companies. But now, when you look at the S and P five hundred, you have your Apples and your Microsoft. I mean, it's changing, right? It's changing. And so, when you look at you know um, uh, where technology is going, get excited about it right? Because it's not going anywhere. And so the sooner you can embrace it, the sooner you can embrace technology, the better you will be in your life. Because now, you know, as a business owner, the first thing I think about now is there has to be an app for that. There has to be something that makes this easier, right? Whatever I got to do on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm asking myself, man, there has to be an app for that. And that's where innovation comes from. That's where creativity comes from. Just understanding like, you know what? When I sit down at my computer, if I have an issue, the first thing I think about is somebody else has had this issue before. So either I'm going to go to Google or I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to go find out the answer because I know someone else. But before all this technology, maybe you just have to sit up like, man, how am I going to figure this out? How to, like, I don't try to figure out anything. I don't try to figure out anything because technology is here. Right. And so I use my brain power to think about other things. But I mean, I go first, like, OK, I know someone else has had this issue. Let me go to Google. Let me go to YouTube. Figure this out. Like I'm on my laptop and something happens that I don't understand. The first thing is I know somebody else has had this issue. And sure enough, boom, I go to YouTube. I go to, you know, uh, Google and there, there there's some there's some community that has had this issue before that. People are giving the answer. Hey, try this, do this, do that. And it saves me so much time. So embrace technology, embrace technology. And over the weeks, I'll be breaking down different things that I use to help me run more efficiently and more effective in my business. But I first want you to start just getting your mind ready to embrace technology, embrace technology. All right. That's my move the needle for you on this day. Go out there and be your brilliant, amazing genius sales. Go make somebody smile as well as making yourself smile today. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the Daily Genius. All right, guys, have a great day.